Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of Google Analytics and connecting your Etsy store so you can start getting more metrics. Now, this is a requested video because I did a video a couple months ago on how to do Google Analytics and how to connect it to your Etsy store. If you guys have not done so yet, I will leave the link in the link box below so you guys could do it. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna go over three important metrics that will take your business to the next level. Whether you have an Etsy store, whether you have a Shopify or a small business, Google Analytics is very important. So if you wanna learn how to scale your business to the next level, make sure that you stay tuned all the way to the end. And if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, and you want to learn how to build an impactful business, don't forget to subscribe today. Don't forget to show me some love by liking this video and leaving a comment below. Let me know if you already use Google Analytics or let me know if you have any questions about Google Analytics. I'm not an expert, but I use it pretty often, so I should be able to answer your questions. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the three metrics that are gonna change your life with your Etsy store. The first one is average time on site by visitors. This is really, really important. This is a metric that XC Shop Stats does not give you. And even though XC Shop Stats and Google Analytics are very similar, the big difference is that Google Analytics gives you more information in depth. Now, XC Shops is a lot easier to navigate and Google Analytics does have a learning curve. However, the more you use it and the more you start looking at your metrics on a regular basis, the easier it gets. And that's with anything you do in life. So just keep that in mind that if you feel a little bit overwhelmed in the beginning, that happens to all of us. And after you start using it over time, you'll get better and better and better. Now, with Google Analytics, you're able to see the average amount of time all users spend on a single page. And this is really important because if you decide, okay, I'm gonna do a Facebook ad, I want to sell this particular item for Christmas, it's a high ticket item, and I'm gonna you know, put some bucks behind it. This is a great measurement because if you do a Facebook ad, you're able to measure the traffic that goes to that page. But not only are you able to, to see how many people are going, you're able to see if people are actually staying or are they leaving? Are they browsing? Are they staying for a long time? Are they reading the listing description? Are they browsing your pictures? Are they navigating to other pages in your in your Etsy shop? This is really important because this is gonna be a really big indicator of whether that listing that you're trying to sell, that particular item that you're trying to sell, if it's a good listing or if people are not interested. And it could be different reasons why people are not buying or leaving. It could be that you don't have great photos. It could be that your listing description is not transparent or people are confused on what exactly they're getting. Or it could simply be that your targeting is off. Like you're showing your products and services on as a Facebook ad, let's say, to the wrong people. So therefore, these people don't have an intent to buy. They're just browsing or they just happen to click on the ad and left because they clicked by mistake or something. So just keep that in mind. This is really, really important to know because not only can you use this for marketing strategy, but not only do you see this because you're running a Facebook ad, but you could see this on regular pages. Maybe you don't do any Facebook ads or any XC ads or any ads at all. This is something that's recorded all the time and it tells you where your visitors are spending majority of their time. This is really, really important because it's gonna indicate what's working on XE and what needs to be fixed on XE based on how they interact with the page. Number two is bounce rate. Bounce rate is the percentage of visitors that go to a to, that go to your XE store who navigate away from your store after only viewing one page. Isn't that crazy? After viewing one page. That means, I don't know, maybe they found you in the Etsy search results. Maybe they found you on Google search results. 
Maybe they found you on social media, like a post that you did. Maybe they, they clicked on a Facebook post that you did. Either way, they clicked, they went to your Etsy store, and they left right away. If you have a high percentage of bounce rate and everybody that lands on your page, they leave, you have to really pay attention to that. That's a, 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 a rising bounce rate is a sure sign that your, your homepage might be boring or off-putting. Something is wrong that people are clicking and leaving. So you have to make sure maybe the post that you put has nothing to do with the page that you're you know, you're sending people in. That could be too, because that could be misleading. And it makes people feel like, well, I click for a pair of shoes and this is sending me to a pair of sandals, right? Maybe you, you put the wrong link. Maybe people are landing and they're not interested and they're leaving. But this is something that you need to start paying attention to see why people are leaving off your actual Etsy store. Now, the next one is how many new visitors there were. And this is really important as well. So this is going to record your first time visitors in your store. So normally when you look at Etsy, you're able to see um, how many people came, how many people return are like, you know, return customers. You kind of see that information, but this is more in a granular way. You could see where they're coming from. Are they coming from desktop? Are they coming from mobile devices? Are they coming from a Google phone? Are they coming from an and I mean, it gets really, really specific. And the reason why that is so important is because if you run, let's say you run a Facebook campaign and you just want for the ad to appear, I don't know, on Instagram only, you could measure the data, you can measure if, if that's working through how people are coming and how many visitors you're getting. And then just understanding how many new visitors you're getting versus like your old customers and separating, returning from new is really, really important, especially when you're running like a campaign. And with this, you're able to see, not only are you able to see how many new visitors, you're able to see where they're coming from. So if you happen to do some type of giveaway in Instagram, you're able to see that for the month of September, you got like 80% of people came as new visitors for an Instagram. And that gives you a good indicator that that giveaway did really well. Or that gives you an indicator that the giveaway that you did on September on Instagram barely drove you any traffic. Because when you look at the traffic on, let's say you look at the traffic on SC stats, it doesn't really... It'll tell you Instagram traffic in the total or social media traffic in the total, but doesn't tell you what percentage of that Instagram traffic was new visitors and what percentage was old visitors. So if you want to get very granular and understand, okay, I did a Instagram giveaway. I want to know how many people from there were new customers that have never visited my store. Did that work for me? Was that money that I invested correctly? Did I do the Facebook ad correctly? Did I do the Instagram targeting correctly? So this is going to really give you more detail. And that's the point of it. Using Google Analytics, the point of it is to understand your audience, understand your traffic, understand where are they coming from? How are they finding your store? What's working? What's not working? What Facebook ads are working? How are your Facebook ads um are they producing more in new customers? Are they bringing old? Are you remarketing to your customers that you're, that already favored your store? These are very, very important metrics. And you can see more information than this. But these are my top three that I love to, to review every single month. You could actually see, this is how specific you could get. You could see what is the busiest time in your Etsy store. And you might say, well, what's that important? The reason why that's important is if you are adding new listings, let's say you decide I'm going to add, you know, you're going to add listings at like maybe three per day. That way you could start always um, having new listings all the time and the algorithm takes notice of your store. But if you're able to put new listings when your store is the busiest, let's say from two to four, that's when majority of your traffic come in. 
If you're able to add those listings between two and four, guess what happens? Your increase, you increase the likelihood of somebody buying from you. Your conversions might go up because that's the busiest time. So if you add those products right there and then, you have a higher probability of someone seeing any new products that you sell. So little things like that add up. And you might think, well, yeah, that might give me two sales, but two sales are two sales, right? So if you do that all the time, it's just another avenue of increasing the likelihood of getting more sales, which is the ultimate goal. But you guys, you have to measure your data. If you don't measure your data, when you do a Facebook ad, when you do an Instagram ad, when you do an Etsy ad, or when you do any type of marketing, paid or organic, most likely it will fail because you don't understand what happened when you did that particular organic post or they say paid. You need to start understanding and measuring it. And at first it might be a little confusing, but the more you do it and the more you put practice to it, the easier it gets to kind of read the data and understand, okay, so this actually did work a little bit. Let me, re, you know, let me re, do another one. This actually didn't have that many great results, so I'm going to stop that one. And that's how you start creating a marketing strategy, whether it's organic and you, you don't want to pay for anything, or whether it's paid or maybe it's both combined to grow and take your Etsy business to the next level. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you want to learn how to connect your Etsy store, it's a really simple process. I recommend for you to do it. I will leave the link below. I already made a video about this a couple months ago. And don't forget, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below section. Thank you guys for watching.